What if you mix angelic makeup with grunge? Hello guys, I'm Val, welcome back to my channel and today I want to try out mixing something really cute with something more grungy. So I will try to mix a cute makeup with a rock kind of makeup, punk, grunge, rock. This I think can be an interesting series. So let's dive in. Grunge by itself is usually represented with darker, muddy kind of colors and it's usually matte. While angelic makeup is very soft and very airy and very bright and sparkly. So I will try to connect those two together and see what I will get at the end. But first of all, I need to get rid of all of that and get back. So this is my face without anything except a bit of concealer and I will be using two palettes today. This has got to be a highlighter palette and naked two basics in mini format. And the first step that I need to do is actually use the concealer. So I'm concealing the eye area and a bit here. And I'm just using my finger to distribute it. My goal today is soft crunch, so it's not gonna be very dark. I will start, start with the shade Frisk, which is this one, and I'm gonna place it all over. Now the same shade I will place underneath my lower eyelid. From this point I'm taking the shade Cover, which is just a bit darker, and I'm gonna place it onto the moving lid. After that I'm taking Primal, same brush, doesn't matter really, and I'm starting to place it from the lash line slightly up, mixing it with cover. Now with the pencil brush I'm taking the shade Undone, which is greyish black, but not really, and I'm gonna dab it and place it by the lash line primarily. I'm also taking it to the very edge and creating a new lash line because I'm not gonna use any eyeliner. This is just going to create a bit of a uh, wing, but it's very soft one and should be blended out. Now when I have my base, I can start turning it into the angelic makeup. I'm taking the brush that is a pencil and the lightest shade from this palette and I'm going to use it on this lower lid first. Now the fun part. This is shimmering highlighter in cool tones from got to be It's called Glow Finish and I've got it quite some time ago. And I have this shade which is slightly pink but not exactly, so it's not blinding white or anything. And I'm going to use it on the areas where typically you would place the angelic makeup things. Next shade that I'm going to use is called Supermoon. It's from the Huda Mer Mercury Retrograde. And this white-ish shade. And I'm also taking it with the same brush. It's a bit chunky. That's okay. Probably need a wet brush though. So let's do it. Now I will use brown pencil, brown eyeliner for the outline of the top lash line. And then I will remove the eyebrows, just wire them up a bit and finish my face and I will be back. And this is what I got at the end. It's very shiny and this highlighter actually adds a lot of this glazed-like effect, especially on the nose as you can see. And overall, overall when the light hits, I actually really like it on camera. In real life it's kind of okay, but you can see the little individual sparkles of it. Some people may not like it, I do enjoy it. And I think it turned out to be a very interesting combo. It's still soft grunge, but it has a lot of shine and I like it. What do you think about it? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and thank you so much for your watch for your view. I enjoy being here with you and making videos. 
for this specific topic. So thank you so much. You make me happy. Have a nice day. Bye.